What is going on guys the game and ram here and welcome back to beam ng drive and today we are heading back to the shop i went and picked me up a car that is something of interest um if you guys remember in the last video uh we had picked up ourselves a tesla i think i don't know what model don't ask i don't know anything about teslas but we picked ourselves up a tesla and it's it's a really nice clean car but we are doing something a little bit different with the car and so today i get to show you guys exactly what we're going to be doing with the tesla so coming in here we got this very nice uh it was supposed to be a race car uh they abandoned the build and they stopped doing it and i can't go in that way so we're gonna have to go in this way we got the second gen oh man we got the first gen ram fixed uh so that truck is now fixed and ready to go and we got ourselves a new wrecker truck uh if you guys don't know we have one almost like this one and due to emissions and, and cali i can't bring it here so i had to get me another one that is of appliant to cali's rules and regulations so this is just as good it's just it it still has its egr system and that's the only reason so <clears throat> cali you gotta love it right but we have a new truck and we have a it is it is under this garage as you can see let's go let's unload the car so i can show you guys what this thing has under the hood because it is not it is not a three liter or a two liter it's something actually very cool so I'm excited to to tell you guys what we're going to be doing with this car. So, if you guys... I don't know if I can hop in. Okay, cool, we can. So, if you guys will look, this car... Look at that engine. What does... If you guys know engines, what do you guys think that is? I'll give you guys a second. All right? All right, so this car has an LS7 engine in it. That is right. It is an LS7. I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> Jesus. Well, oh, there we go. So there you go. As you guys can see, the car does run. It just doesn't drive. It has some transmission issue or something like something isn't hooked up i don't know exactly what it is let's just push it out to the side let's just say we unloaded it <laughs> all right let's get this bed back down so like i say i'm excited to get started on it because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing something that really isn't hasn't been done uh is either hasn't been done before or it barely has been done Especially successfully. Alright. So I'm going to park the truck back up over here. But I'm, I'm happy that we actually got our own tow truck now for the shop. Because... We haven't had a tow... We didn't have a tow truck for the shop. It's an electric car, you know, nothing special, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's boring, you know, it's a very boring car that, I was getting right next to it, right there, right, super boring, and we hit shift Y, Okay, shift plus Y. I did that. It didn't open. I don't know. It doesn't work for some reason. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this LS7 out of this car. 
and we're going to be putting it into the Tesla. And we're going to be making a race car out of the Tesla. And on top of it, this is this is the cool part about this is that we're not throwing away cars. We're actually still being it <clears throat> minus the blue one. Minus the blue Tesla. That one's gone. We junked that one. We crushed it already. But what we're going to be doing is this is a twofer. We're going to be building the Tesla into a race car, and we're going to be taking this car, and we're going to be building something even cooler. So you guys are going to get two bills at one. All right? These are this is this this is the unique part. I have an engine lined up for the put into this car, and I got a new I got an engine, a transmission, and I got something else that I bought that's coming for this car, and we're going to be getting started on this Tesla here pretty soon, so we can get some racing done. So. I'm happy. I'm stoked. I got to turn this car off because it's still running. All right. And uh, I'll show you guys the update here on the first gen. So we changed the front end around. We got a new bumper. We got a new grill. Uh, we got new headlights. These are halo outlines. Uh, so there's just the halo on the outside of the light. We got a new hood. It's a, a, like a crawl, a crawl adduction hood. So that's nice. Uh, we're going to be getting new tires and wheels for the truck, so I'm excited about that. And we're going to be getting a new suspension, because uh, this is not the greatest. And we got the bed fixed, so that is very, very nice. And we still have the big long boy trailer, but we don't have any place to put it, so we park it here. But we're going to rearrange the place, and we're going to figure out where we're going to be parking everything and putting everything. We do have a spot right here. Let me look. Uh, our dumpsters sitting here. That's why we don't park here. We might park on the back side because uh, I think we can park it like right along this wall right here. Yeah, this is what we're gonna st we're gonna start parking the trailer right here. It'll be out of the way in. We still have access back here, so that's how we're gonna park it. Let's see if we can even finesse the trailer back there because. Uh, we gotta really, we're gonna have to really, you're gonna turn it all the way like this. Oh, this is gonna be pretty easy to park it then. It's as long as no cars park here, we can park it there. This truck is very touchy in reverse. You have to feather that pedal. Because it's sensitive, man. Come on, get her back there. perfect and now all we got to do really is just disconnect it that's a perfect spot to put the trailer man i think we're going to park all our trailers back here we're going to be getting some because we got more trailers coming we got an enclosed trailer that's at the track already though and we got a another open trailer so we got a lot of trailers and it's an it's more than enough room to park it there too So this is the shop stuff so far. As you guys can see, we're running all 80s and 90s trucks um, until we can, until we get new trucks. I think that's pretty cool. You know, look at that. You got a nice old school first gen. You got a nice old, you know, a nice, very, very. This is a mint truck, by the way. A very mint. Uh, this is a 19. Um, I think this is a 1990. 7 or 98 Chevy and this truck is really clean for a tow truck it's very nice got brand new wheels on it got a new exhaust uh we got to get the engine built because it's still stock same with the, the first gen ram it got to get the engine built uh so there you go uh there's a little update here at the shop but we're going to be getting started. We're going to start shifting some gears and city garage is going to be finally underway. I know it's been a while. My computer, I had problems with it, but I finally figured out what was wrong with it. Long story short, it was an overclock problem and I didn't know what I was doing, but it's back up and running. First water cooled PC and it so far is doing great. I love it. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you know when I post videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.